Hi guys, welcome back to our Microsoft Excel tutorial. So, if you can still remember the same example what I have in front of you is what we discussed last week, how to co how to combine two or more than cell into one cell. So now we are going to talk about if we combine them, how, how to separate those cell. Okay, so let's start. Now we're going to discuss how to separate one cell into a two, two cell. So since I made this one, let me hide it. Since we don't have a data yet, so let me do it. Equal my name. this make sure you're going to remove the formula by simply copy paste special value just simply click this one two three or simply highlight everything control c control alt b b already i already discussed it to you guys before how to how or what to use of all the shortcut key so if you still you're not yet watching that please go back to our previous session in the last few weeks yeah so now, since uh, since our topic today is how to segregate all of this into a two or three columns, so how, how we can do it? Just simply highlight everything, go to text the column, delimited. Next, how you want to change, how you want to separate them. So there is a tab. There is semicolon, there is a comma, there is a space, there is others. So since first I want to separate it by the underscore. It's underscore. Next. So it's given you the preview here in down how it will look like. Then finish. So now it's separated by the underscore. Okay guys. So it will be easy for you to understand. Let me just copy this and paste it here so you can see the difference. Okay. So again, text the column. Delimited. Next, type here in others underscore. And then next and finish. Turn. So see, it's been separated with the underscore now if you want to separate again this you can use you can use many things again text the column then you want the limited next by space so you want to be, to be separated by the space so here since there's Abu Dhabi here there's a name, it will be separated with a space. So guys, be very careful in this because if your text it is not in the same sizes, it will be the separated. See here, since this is Dubai, only one word, it's been separated, only these two. But since Abu Dhabi, you have a space. See, you have a space here and you have a space here. So it's been separated into a three column. So be very careful on it. Together, separate it in the two options. Let me do it again. I'll just copy this. I'll put here. Paste here. So again, text to the column. Delimited. Next. You want to separate it in space. And you want to separate it also in under underscore. So it's here. It's been separated at one time. Next. And finish. So, 
you can just you separated it in just one click or it's another way that is aside from the limit that you can use a fixed width the next you see from here you can get a line where you can separate the things but here guys you need to be very careful because it will be separated only with the same length it will not be separated according to your to the things that you want to be so here see i it will be cut since this is to buy and this is not all five character under braid the location and if you want to put here it will be separated the name geraldine see i'll show it to you next finish so see the name geraldine has been separated because you just count the text count the number of abu dhabi so it's very important that if you're going to use it, make sure that you're going to use with the same length of the text or a value or a variable. So here, and you can use this file only if you want to get employee name of this variable. If you want to get only the employee name of this variable, then you can use the length. But I'm always advised to use the delimited. Ayan. So this is the way of how to separate one cell into a multiple cell. Thank you. Like and subscribe.